Hey everybody, Hamster Sales here with another StarCraft 2 commentary. Today I have a very specific intent in mind with this commentary. I'm going to kind of talk about a Roachling rush that I like to do against Protoss Forge Fast Expands. Uh, it's super effective I find. I win uh, I think well over 90% of my games. I've lost a couple of times because of execution errors on my part. But it's something I've worked on uh, pretty hard and I find a lot of uh, use for it every time I see a forge fast expand on a map like this like backwater Gulch, where there's a fairly exposed natural expansion uh, I feel like Protoss at my level especially I'm not sure about masters but at diamond um, level uh, this guy's actually a high pro, uh, platinum player uh, come to think of it but at my at, around my level uh, Protoss players seem unable to hold a proper roachling all-in timing um, I do it off of two base with two queens, so I can follow up with a really huge flood of zerglings. And I, I chose this game because I don't execute it perfectly, and still I completely crush my opponent. Um, the main reasons th that this always works is that uh, Protoss plays super greedy behind it, because the normal response to Forge Fast Expand, uh, as people will correctly point out on the uh, Team Liquid thread where uh, that inspired me to do this, um, that normally Zerg just takes a very quick third, uh, and this allows the Protoss to be super greedy. Uh, the Zerg can of course be super greedy at the same time, but uh, when a Protoss is being super greedy, uh, things that potentially crush the Roachling ru uh, rush, like uh, Void Rays or DTs, like they don't come fast enough, because the Roach hits at around uh, 7 minutes, I think. I'm actually really bad at the, the timing on that, I'm usually uh, macroing like a madman, or trying to macro like a madman. Uh, so I find that they really don't have a sufficient army. I find they usually have one, uh, two sentries max, uh, sometimes three, if they're a little more cautious, which is really what they should have. But uh, the cool thing about this is I don't have to play perfectly, and I still find I can completely crush the Protoss player. Uh, and I think this is a good example of it. I, I think I supply blocked myself a few times. Uh, already early, I supply, by <laughs> supply blocked myself a little bit already. But I think that just str uh, speaks to the strength of the build and how greedy Protoss players are when they forge fast expand. Uh, they'll get one, two cannons, and then they'll just start uh, chrono boosting tons and tons of probes. He's already chrono boosting pr uh, probes, and he's really already falling behind. Not going to have what he needs to defend. Uh, I try to have uh, seven roaches or so, and then I can just follow it up with a near endless number of zerglings. So as you can see, uh, I'm doing this reactively. I've not yet scouted my opponent. So I, uh, this, as far as I'm concerned, this still could be a macro game. Uh, it could be He could be foregating, so I might need to prepare for a rush of his. But uh, I don't scout until I get my initial four Zerglings, and I, I get very fast speed and pull off gas. And when I see the Forge Fast Expand, as I've seen here, I immediately throw down a Roach Warren, or very quickly throw down a Roach Warren and put drones back on gas. Uh, I should do it pretty quickly. Uh, again, I, I don't execute this perfectly, this game, which is why I wanted to show it. But uh, yeah, usually around the time uh, Ling speed finishes, I like to get that, uh, that Roach worn. Uh, I'm floating kind of a lot of minerals right now. I don't know why I'm playing quite so sloppy. But regardless, I'm going to get the Roaches out in plenty of time to attack his front. You can see he's just making probes. He's making a single zealot to block this little choke so he doesn't have to destroy a building later. But this is so vulnerable, man. He's just got two uh, two cannons, and I eventually <laughs> will get a Roach Warren, I promise you. There it is. Um, that's usually much later than I get it. I don't know why I got it that late this game. Maybe uh, I just wasn't quite thinking or was focusing on macro or something. I don't know. But uh, as you can see, even with problems of execution, uh, this build can be pulled off fairly easily. And the Protoss player is keeping his money low. He's just, he's just playing greedily. He, I think he's mechanically even playing better than I am. Uh, you know, his supply is a little higher, and yeah, he's just keeping that two pro production up. He's getting a single sentry so far for defense, and is chrono boosting out warp gate technology. He has a couple of gateways, um, but this is indicative of how greedy Protoss players play behind a forge fast expand. Uh, you can see he's going to start climbing way ahead on workers pretty soon, uh, chrono boosting two nexus worth of probes, or at least chrono boosting one, and double. There he goes. So spending all his chrono boost on probes at this point, and I'm already amassing a roach army, I believe. Yes, seven roaches is my lucky number for the most part, and I don't think I'll produce any more than that. And then behind this, I'm just going to send a huge flood of links. 
I have uh, kind of mass overlords to 60 supply is around the, the supply I like to, to stop at. And what I do, I don't know if I do it in this game, but normally I like to just send my roaches first until they get pretty close to the base. Because um, if he's scouting with a watchtower or something, I don't want him to see the full force I have. Maybe underreact to a lower number of roaches. And uh, yeah, just producing 18 zerglings behind this and I'm going to flood in. Uh, you sometimes even keep them on a separate control group. But uh, here I go, 7 roaches right at his gate. I'm going to take out this defending zealot so my zerglings can run in behind this. He's throwing kind of a weird force field down. Um, I will give uh, give um, give him that, that that's not the best force field. So he could have held me off quite a bit longer, but I simply would have focused down a gateway or a cyber core while I waited for the force field to run out. And often the uh, Protoss players will leave their sentry really close to the front, and I'll be able to snipe it with the initial seven roaches. And at this point, he really has no chance. Uh, I'm going to be taking out the pylons and probes. Uh, I could probably be making better use of my units, but I, I must be uh, attempting feebly to macro back it back at home. But uh, yeah, this isn't a video to brag about how great this build is. I, I certainly haven't innovated, but uh, I saw in the little Team Liquid uh, thread there, a uh, gold level player asking how to deal with uh, Protoss Forge Fast Expand. He received a lot of very good advice um, to either single or even double expand. Um, so you can play super greedy just like this Protoss player did and get ahead of him econ economically, which is great. But, you know, Protoss players nowadays, I think, are playing way too safe just because they expect the Zerg to do that. They expect the Zerg to get three or four bases and they just get a sick uh, two base timing push and can often defeat you if you don't play very well, uh, a very, well ma very good macro game. And I find just 9 times out of 10, you do a very standard Roachling timing push against Forge Fast Expand, you can completely crush them because <laughs> they're just totally not expecting it. Even if they scout you, you just keep a few lings at your front, you keep your Roaches uh, back here if, you, if you're not building them all at the same time. My, mine all popped at the same time this game, so he really wouldn't have been able to scout that anyway. But yeah, you keep lings up front, prevent scouting, and if they, even if they do get a scout in, it kind of looks like you're macroing anyway. You have two base, two queens. But really, you're just going for this two base timing push, and you're going to be able to flood in a sick number of links behind this. I kept my money fairly low this game. I did throw down a macro hatch while I was breaking down that gate. And this allows me, if even if my uh, push fails, to get drawn up really quickly. Um, and I, I probably will have done a ton of damage if it fails somehow. Like if you got super fast void rays and I was just playing very poorly. But even with uh, uh, relatively fast void rays for a forge fast expand, I will usually get there um, in time to kill the Protoss opponent, and in fact, I saw in the thread that uh, Air quote-unquote rapes this strat. So I decided to, uh, I actually played a game where a Protoss player went for Void Rays with his Forge Fast Expand, and I will show you how that goes next. <laughs> 